This is the solution to written homework 66. <clears throat> so part A, find the domain <coughs> of F. So uh, the only thing where there's a problem is we need the argument to the radical to be non-negative. which is to say that we need x plus 2 is greater or equal to 0, or if you like, x is greater or equal to negative 2, so negative 2 to infinity. So from negative 2 to infinity. That means that we should not have any drawing further to the left uh, than that point. Okay sketch by plotting every integer input. Okay, so <coughs> we can plug in negative 2 B so if we plug in negative 2 uh, so X and Y so if we plug in negative 2 uh, we get 1 <coughs> so the first point be plotted. That one. We plug in negative one. That would be one. So negative one plus two is one. Square root of that is one. Plus one is two. So like so. If we plug in zero, <coughs> uh, then we get square root two plus one. Well, square root 2 plus 1, on the accuracy of this, we just need one place past the decimal, really. So square root of 2 is about 1.4, and then plus 1, that's about 2.4. So 2.4. So that's about uh, over here. Plug in 1, that's square root 3 plus 1. Square root of 3 is about 1.7. So this is about 2.7. If we plug in 2, uh, if we plug in 2, that's 2 plus 2 is 4. Square root of that's 2 plus 1 is, five, uh, is 3. Three. Three plus two is five. Square root of five plus one. That's about three point two. And then square root of six plus one. <coughs> square root of six plus one. It's about 3.4. So I'll do the rest with the calculator now. 3.6. Four. and 4.3-ish. Okay, so that's every integer point. So C, so every horizontal line, so it says explain it in a sentence, so every horizontal line uh, 
crosses the graph. Zero or one times. And therefore it passes the horizontal line test. Okay, so that's C. D. Sketch Y is X. Okay. Sketch the inverse function. Okay. Uh, so that was that was D. E. Sketch the inverse function. Okay. So this point here, negative one two, will reflect to two <coughs> negative one. Uh, sorry. To so it's negative two one. So it will reflect to 1, negative 2. Okay, and then here, <coughs> etc. So it just asked for a sketch. So it will be something like... Uh, so at, at... Yeah, over here. Something like that. So it should look symmetric across that line. <coughs> okay, and then finally, uh, so that was that was E. Finally, F. Compute the inverse function. Okay, so we say y is square root x plus 2 plus 1. <coughs> so y squared, uh, uh, we'll swap the x's and y's first. So x is square root y plus 2 plus 1. <coughs> one is square root y plus two so x minus one squared is y plus two so x minus one squared minus two is y and therefore the inverse function is x minus 1 squared minus 2. And we need to note that the domain is x greater or equal to 1. The reason why that's the domain is because the range of the red function, of the original function, was 1 to infinity. 